Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I have done a Chloe Kardashian inspired makeup tutorial. Now if you want me to do a hair tutorial, please let me know and I will do one. I didn't do one today because this is the first time I've ever done this and I didn't know how it was going to go. So now that I know what to do and what kind of styling tongs to use and things, um, then yeah, it make my life a little bit easier and we can film a video. So I've just done this soft makeup look using one eyeshadow palette, which is the chocolate bar palette from Too Faced that I haven't used in such a long time and I forgot how much I loved it. Um, it's a great palette for like makeup artistry. I remember I used it all the time on all of my brides. You can use it for anything and everything. Please remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already or if you're new to my channel. I would hate for you to miss out on any more cool makeup tutorials. So anyway, let's just jump on with this one. So for my primer today, I'm taking the Kiko Glowing Potion Perfecting Serum. I just realised it's actually a serum and not a primer, um, but I just wanted a glowy look and this looked like it would give me that glowy kind of base. Then next I'm going to be taking the Becca Under Eye Brightening Corrector. Now I have wanted to try this for ages, I mean months and months, and it did not disappoint. Because it's a corrector, it's got like a peachy undertone, so it just counts like counteracts any darkness or any like heaviness that you have underneath the eyes and it just kind of prepares it for the foundation and concealer. With the Kardashians they've always got that full coverage flawless kind of look to them so I just wanted to go with, towards some extra steps to make me look extra flawless. So going in with a full coverage foundation which is the Urban Decay All Nighter foundation and I'm just going to pat this on using my Real Technique sponge. It does oxidize a couple of shades darker so my um, tip would be to get a couple of shades lighter when you're picking out your foundation. Then, as always, I'm taking my Soft Ochre Paint Pot by MAC and I'm going to pop this all over my eyelids, right up to the brow bone. And this is just going to counteract any redness that I've got, any veins, and it's just going to give a nice clean canvas ready to a pop on eyeshadow. Just make sure that you set it with either a translucent powder or a cream coloured eyeshadow so it doesn't move and budge, and then the eyeshadow will glide on nicer once it's dried. Then to conceal and highlight the face, I'm taking my NARS Creamy Concealer. It's one of the newer shades. I can't remember what it's called, but I'll link it in the description box below. And I'm just going to use that underneath my eyes, in the middle of my forehead, down the bridge of my nose, and then a little bit on the cupid's bow, joining up to the under eye area, because you want everything to look flowy and not kind of... Um, too bright in certain areas and then not in the others. I mean you want everything to look blended and just perfect because the Kardashians makeup is always that. It's just always that. Next I'm going to remove all the makeup from my lips because I want to go in with some lip balm just to make sure and prep the lips for the lipstick and stuff later and they always have nice and soft and just kind of juicy lips so that's what we're going to do. <laughs> So for my brows, I'm going to be taking the Ready Set Brow Gel from Benefit. First of all, and I'm going to run that through my brows and wait until the hairs are set in place. Then I'm going to be taking the Cabral Pomade in the shade 4 to fill it in. Once the hairs are set in place, it's so much easier to go in and just get into those little sparse areas and make them look a little bit more like hairy and natural more natural brows than like really full on heavy brows. Then for powder and to set the concealer I'm just taking my professional powder from Benefit and my one for one brush from Zoeva to pat this underneath to kind of stop the concealer from budging and it also just adds an extra coverage of makeup to make you look even more flawless. To bronze up my skin, I'm actually taking Give Me Sun by MAC because it's more of like an orangey tone and Chloe's always really warm. Her makeup's never too browny, it's more like a bronzy golden look so that's what I've decided to go for today. I'm just going to run this in all the areas that I'm going to contour and definitely make sure that you get in the cupid's bow um, just above the lip because she always has that accentuated and also like on top of the um, lips either side. It just makes them look bigger and just more pouty. Just make sure you don't put too much on because then it will kind of look like a moustache. <laughs> we don't want that. Then to contour further, I'm taking my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer in Medium and my 109 Luxe Face Paintbrush from Zoeva and I'm just going to chisel out those cheekbones and in the temples and a little bit on the forehead just to kind of further accentuate our features. 
This is a trick that I was kind of getting on to, basically to make everything look seamless. Makeup by Mario has always said there should never be a start to stop to makeup, so the way to do that is to make sure that everything is buffed in. So what I like to do is take a little bit of translucent powder, I use the Laura Mercier one, and a big fluffy brush, and you just want to work everything in on the skin, and it just makes it look so much more seamless and as natural as it can be, although it's full coverage. Then onto my highlight, I'm taking the Ofra Beverly Hills highlighter and I'm taking that top shade and I'm just going to work this onto the tops of my cheekbones, down the center of my nose and then on the cupid's bow also. It just gives a little bit of a pop. I really love this highlighter because although it's like intense, it actually settles in the skin really nicely and it gives you like a natural glow. I'm sure you'll see by the end of this video, it kind of just settles in and it's just really pretty. Dipping back into my translucent powder, I'm taking my Morphe M459 brush and I'm just going to carve out underneath the contour that we've done to kind of clean it up a little bit and then also on the side of my nose because it just squidges my nose in to make it look a little bit thinner. Whilst that settles in, I'm going to apply my blusher which I'm taking the Milani blush in Luminoso, I can never pronounce that, sorry. I'm using my 127 brush from Zoeva to apply that just to the apples of my cheeks to add a little bit of colour. Then I'm taking my mermaid brush from Certify and I'm just going to dust off all that excess powder that we applied. So onto the eyes, I'm taking my Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette and the first shade I'm picking up is Salted Caramel which is a very nice warm transition shade. And I'm going to use my favourite, favourite blending brush which is a 228 brush from Zoeva to blend into my crease. Chloe wears quite a lot of bronzy, goldy eyeshadow looks so that's what I went for today. Everything's always super blended so I just wanted to make sure in between each step that I blended as much as I could just to make it look so seamless and kind of glide into each colour. The next shade I'm picking up is Milk Chocolate. Now, do not be fooled by this colour. Honestly, I used to swerve this colour because it just doesn't look anything special in the pan. But when you actually put it on, it's a bit darker and it's more brownier than what it looks. For, to me, it looks a bit khaki, but it's not, honestly. So I'm taking that on my 227 brush from Zoeva again. I'm going to work that into the outer corner. And like I said, I'm just going to make sure that I blend that out um, between each step just so I know that it's all blended and seamless. The next shade I'm going to be applying is called Creme Brulee, which is a very pretty gold shade and shock that it's called Creme Brulee and it's my favourite. <laughs> and I'm just going to pop this on using a flat blending brush to the inner kind of part of my eyelid. Then taking a big fluffy brush, I'm going to make sure that all those edges are nice and blended out. I'm going to repeat this step a couple of times until I'm happy with like the pigment payoff the, of the gold. You do have to build it up. I probably did it about three times until I was 100% happy with the colour. For my inner corner highlight, I'm taking Champagne Truffle, I absolutely love that name, Champagne Truffle. And I'm just going to pop that, like I said, in the inner corner to brighten up the eye and just, it makes the eye look, look a little bit more prettier. I felt like the eyeshadow was missing something so I decided to kind of darken up the outer corner by taking Semi Sweet on my little Fruline fluffy brush and just kind of pressing that into that the outer C. And then I'm dragging that same shade right down to my lower lash line. I'm taking it on my Le Page Trends blending brush and I'm using like side to side motions and I'm also making sure to join it up to the top eyeshadow. Just basically makes it look a little bit more complete. Then I'm going to go in with Hazelnut and this is a very shimmery bronzy shade. I'm going to pop that on top of Semi sweet just on the lower lash line though I feel like Chloe always has a bronzy kind of glowy shimmery look so I just feel like it just kind of topped off the makeup look for me and made it look extra kind of pretty and just beachy to apply a little bit of eyeliner I'm actually taking the brow gel from Ofra in brown I'm just gonna pop this on using a really thin liner brush. The name has unfortunately rubbed off, but I'll link it all down below for you guys. And then I'm gonna smoke it out just on the outer corner using Triple Fudge, which is the darkest brown from the palette to again, make everything look blended. And it just makes a little pretty kind of eye shape, I think, when you smoke out the outer corner. A little trick that I like to do is take the hazelnut shade, which is a nice bronzy shade, and pop that onto my waterline as 
though it's acting like an eyeliner, but it's not harsh. It just gives the illusion that you're wearing some. So that's it for eyeshadow. Then moving on to mascara, I'm taking the Maybelline Falsies Push Up Angel Mascara, which is my current favorite mascara. I'm gonna pop that onto my top and bottom lashes, preparing them for falsies, which today I'm gonna be taking my Lily Galici lashes in the style Opulence. Makeup by Ariel, which is one of their um, Kardashians makeup artists, uses Lily lashes all the time. And I think this style of lash really represents Chloe's. Then moving on to the lips, I'm going to first apply a little bit of foundation onto my lips to take away the natural colour of them. And then I'm going to go in with MAC World Lip Liner and I'm going to overdraw my lips a bit on the bottom and fill it all in just to kind of create a base for the lips. And then the thing that I did differently on the top lip is instead of having like the normal M that I normally have on my Cupid's bow, I'm going to take it quite flat. So I'm going to get rid of that middle bit that goes down and I'm just going to kind of drag it across. It just gives the illusion of like a peltier look. And I'm actually really loving the way that it looks. Then to add another like pinky kind of layer to it, I'm taking the NYX Lingerie Satin Liquid Lipstick in the shade Satin Ribbon. And I'm just gonna pop this pretty much on top of all the liner, but because the liner's there, it's gonna act as like a base. And then it's also going to where we miss the liquid lipstick, give that illusion of like overdrawn lips without it looking too falsely overdrawn, if that makes sense. I don't even know if I'm making any sense. Then for gloss, I'm taking my Anastasia Undressed Gloss to pop just on the center of the lips. Alright guys, that's it for this makeup video. I hope you have enjoyed. If you did, please give this video a big thumbs up and let me know in some comments down below. I actually love this makeup look for like a Valentine's makeup look. It's very sexy, you know? You know what I'm saying? Um, especially with this hair. I'm, I'm actually loving my short hair at the moment. Like when I first did it, I was like, what did I do? Now that I know how to style it, <laughs> nicely, because before I was just like, I don't even know how to, to work with this. Um, yeah, I'm digging it. Anyway, um, I'll, what am I saying? You can find me on other social media platforms like Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter. It's all Amy's Makeup Box. I've made it really nice and easy for you guys to find me. So until next time, I'll see you soon. Bye.